What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, I'm bringing you guys some ESL gameplay from over the weekend. I've been streaming a lot on Twitch. We're gonna be streaming a lot more on Twitch until we until MLB The Show 20 releases. You can find me over there at twitch.com slash moviegamingtv. If you ever want to catch a live stream live or just come say what's up, i um, be more than happy to have you over there. Um, you know, usually stream in the evenings. That's usually what I do. You know, once I finish up uh, work for the day, then I usually just hop on. I'm going to start streaming. And that's what we'll do most of the summer here. So this is uh, basically on Saturday. I ended up going 4-0 in ESL. But on Sunday, this was basically my last chance to qualify because I had the had the first world problems of watching. I went to Allen Fieldhouse for a KU game, and then I went uh, like last week, and then I watched the Chiefs game, and I watched the other Chiefs playoff games, and I didn't want to be distracted with playing or anything like that. I just uh, wanted to be able to, you know, when I played, I wanted to be able to focus, and I wanted to watch those games, you know what I'm saying? So I pretty much had this weekend to try to get uh, a score high enough to qualify they had automatic qualifiers this weekend. You have to like play every single weekend. If you finish in the top eight, you were able to get there. So I'm matched up against Dude Food Gaming, uh, really good content creator and uh, player as well. Get the 1-0 lead early with Willie Mays. He ends up getting me back with a home run there from Trey Mancini to make it a one-to-one -one game. The wind was going crazy in this game. It was actually blowing 11 miles an hour to the right, kind of. It's kind of like blowing, um, let's say like southeast, 11 miles an hour. So the wind was really howling in this game. Still one to one here. Get him to strike out with Billy Wagner. Now it's the bottom of the second inning. Get a base hit here with Ernie Banks right back up the middle to give us a runner on first base. And we ground to the right side. He can't quite get the double play. Correa, Correa gets there in time. Now, Pete Alonzo, and this is what I was talking about with that win, man. Like, I felt like I crushed that ball. I don't know if it got caught in the wind or what. But we're out there. Now, Gary Sanchez is up. Great pitch. That's a really underrated pitch. Throwing those cutters just on the outside of the strike zone is a, is a really great pitch. Gets people to roll over. And now, here's a... That one probably got caught in the wind for him, to be honest with you. He hits it pretty hard out to center field. This one, the wind may or may not have helped. I don't know. Like, I'm on Willie Mays' home run earlier. It's like, I don't know if that one got caught in the wind, but it kept going. Get him out there, and then we strike out Bellinger. Now we're going to the bottom of the third. Bring in Jim Evans to pinch hit. Hit a pop fly to left field. Easy catch for him there. Now we got... Um, I really like this Christian Yelich card a lot. I like hitting with him a lot. I also should say, I know a lot of you guys in the comments are going to be like, are you hitting with uh, directional? I'm not. I'm actually just hitting zone with the PCI off. I've been using that uh, quite a bit lately. Uh, I don't know. For some reason, it helps me just see the ball a lot better. I walk more when I use it. Get to hit a ground ball weakly to the right side there to get for him to get out of this inning with Chipper Jones. Now he has, I don't know, does he have Correa up? I think he has Correa up. Yeah, that's a base hit to center field. Now he's got Mancini, who's been killing me. This one definitely seems like it was hitting to the wind. That ball looked like it was crushed. That Mancini just always, always is uh, a problem for me in ESL. It's a great card. I, know, I haven't used him, but he's a great card. Dive right there to knock it down, but we can't get it out. He's got scope up here. I really, I think this one probably got either pushed a little bit by the wind. I don't know. The wind was definitely a factor on that one. Eric Davis is able to track it down though, so that was nice to get at least a one out. So he's got first and third here. He's been hitting well with Fegley, so I was really, really happy to get that strike out there. Now we got Eric Davis up. Throws a great curveball on three and two that absolutely froze me. Now this is the absolute play of the game. So this is to basically to win. Hit it all the way to the wall with Banks, and he robs me of the home run. That would have won me the game, and most likely uh, it would have helped me qualify, to be honest with you. Because I think Dude Food did end up finishing up in the uh, top eight to qualify. Uh, so that one was brutal. But that, that really, really was a backbreaking catch. Because I thought I had the game won. Completely wasted the next at bat. Then I was thinking about bringing in a, a left-handed pitcher to face George Brett. Of course, he crushes one off the wall. Now, that card doesn't have a lot of power in, anyway, so it's a great swing there. 
get one out here. We got a runner on third. I'm going to go intentional walk so we can at least set up a double play possibility. That's what I'm going to go for to keep the runner from scoring. So I throw one to Bellinger. Hits on the ground. It bounces out of Alonzo's glove. I throw back the first, not in time. So he got the run. We could have had the double play to get out of the inning there. So the inning's going to continue. Ends up hitting a deep pop fly to center field. We're going to catch that, throw that, just an easy second out there. So we got two down now. Mancini, 0-0 count. They started off, again, just that card just absolutely kills me. Rips it to center field for a home run. That was a huge hit. I mean, obviously, that was one that's going to be very, very difficult for me to come back from with that kind of a hit. Clutched up uh, there with Mancini for dude food. Now it's 5-1. to one. And I try to get a base hit up the middle there just to pop out from Alonzo. This is definitely the weaker part of my lineup with Alonzo and Gary Sanchez. I thought I got all of that one. But again, you know, you're kind of hitting it, hitting it into the wind. My PCI feedback wasn't that great on that one. I think I was good okay. I wasn't really quite on it. But it did go quite a, quite a ways there. And then I got Jordan Alvarez. Just didn't happen. Couldn't get a base hit. Couldn't get anything going. Shout out to Dude Food. This one ended my ESL dreams. I'm not going to be able to participate in that, but I'm still going to be able to go for top 50 this season and rank season. So I'll probably do that over on stream. If you guys want to ever catch a stream, twitch.tv backslash movie gaming TV. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a great day. Peace.